It's all about fun. Be funky and have fun while doing it. Hey, this is Ashley Nell Tipton. I am super excited to introduce this dealer exclusive machine. The SB3150 Simplicity by Brother Sewing and Quilting Machine. What's amazing about the Simplicity by Brother Sewing Machine is that it already comes with a Simplicity pattern already packaged with the machine. What I love about this Brother Machine is that it makes sewing any type of fabric easy. It has 180 stitches. It's endless creativity. Brother has exclusive sewing machines that you can only purchase at an authorized dealer. These machines have unique features that allow you to get the most out of your sewing experience. Today we're going to be working on a simplicity pattern which is one of my designs. It's a wrap skirt. If you want to follow along, this is pattern 8612. The best thing to do is to stay stitch all your raw edges on the upper top of your pattern pieces. We don't want our fabric to come apart while we're sewing. So for step two, we are going to take our front piece, we're going to fold it twice and press it down to be able to give it that clean edge. And one of my tips is to fold your edges first, then pin it, then press it. You have now a clean edge on your center front piece. For step three, we're going to take our center front pieces and match them up with our side front pieces, making sure that the notches match together. My sewing has definitely improved with the longer feed dogs. For the fourth step, we're going to be now attaching the front and the back of the skirt together. I've now attached the side back to my side front. And now I'm going to be attaching my center back to my side back piece. Make sure that you have that back stitch. I love that the Brother Machine just makes it easy with a simple one touch button for your back stitch. And this is what it looks like. All of our panels are now attached to each other. And now we can start to create the waistband. So for step five, we are going to fuse our inner facing to the wrong side of the fabric. I know that sounds weird, but that's what we gotta do. And it should look a little something like this. We are going to attach our waistband to our skirt now, yay! For step six, we are now going to be attaching our waistband to our skirt. Finally, we can now see this all coming together. Here we have these notches that indicate that this is where the waistband should match. I'm going to pin this down and sew at a half an inch. Another great feature on this Brother machine is the electronic speed control. When I'm turning the corners on my fabric, I'm allowed to change the speed to a slower stitch speed just so that I can make sure that I get everything precise. So you disconnect this, and then you push this button. Oh, oh my god! It's a fabulous foot-free feature. So we just finished step six where we have sewn our waistband to our skirt. Let's get rid of the skirt and on to the string ties. You have two string ties to make and we're going to be folding them lengthwise and stitching them at 3 8 of an inch. So straight all the way leaving one side open. Having a super bright light on your sewing machine definitely helps you identify the right and wrong side of your fabric. Once you get to the end, I'm going to want to lift up my foot to move the fabric so that I can close one end of it. So lifting up my foot, I'm turning my fabric, and now I'm going to be sewing the tie close. Make sure to backstitch. Lift my needle and cut your corners with your fabric scissors. 
Now I have closed one edge of the tie and I have left my other side open. We're gonna create the same process on the other side for the other tie. And remember, one tie is shorter than the other. That just indicates which one is the left and which one is the right. For step eight, we are now going to flip our ties inside out. Grab your tweezers, put the flat edge, and place it in the center of your ties and push straight down to make a pocket. Just keep pushing all the way up until you get to the open edge. There you go. And now you have turned your tie straps inside out. We are now going to press out our ties. Now you're ready to sew these in. We want to meet corner to corner. Pin that down and do a top stitch. Making sure that we secure stitch it with a back stitch. And there you go, you have your ties attached to our waistband and this is what it should look like. Welcome to step nine. We are going to be folding our waistbands right sides to right side, making sure that our ties are still into our waistband. We're going to shut the waistband together and we're gonna sew right across. Our tie strings are now attached to our waistband and our waistband is flipped right side up. Now we're about to close our waistband to our skirt. We're going to take our waistband, the side that we pressed earlier, and we're gonna fold at center lengthwise, and we're gonna pin down our waistband so that we can close it. That's another good thing about this sewing machine is that it makes threading so much easier with the advanced threader. And voila, just by the push of this button, we'll instantly thread your needle. So to complete step 10, we are going to stitch in the ditch for our waistband. And we're gonna be stitching right at the seam of our waistband and skirt, catching the bottom of the waistband, which is stitch in the ditch. Stitch in the ditch. Stitch in the ditch. This is where you're going to create a buttonhole in your waistband. For my design, I technically didn't create a buttonhole, but it's up to you if you want to do it. It's optional. Remember, this is your design, so you get to create the way you want to. So this is our last step before we can put on a wrap skirt. <laughs> Hemming our skirt. Another tip is I suggest you try on the skirt before hemming it to find the proper hemline that you would like. I've already carefully cut the edge of my skirt to make sure that everything is even and I have now hemmed my skirt with my pins and I'm going to press it and make sure that everything is even before I do a top stitch to my hem. We're gonna do the exact same fold that we did to the center front and do it to the bottom of the skirt. If your edges aren't matching up, feel free to grab your fabric scissors and clean up the edges. We fold it once and then we fold it one more time so that we don't see any of the raw edges. We top stitch the skirt's hem. Back stitch, making sure that we catch that edge. And voila, we are done with our skirt. We just finished our 12 step wrap skirt. How exciting. Now I'm gonna go and get a bunch of fabric and create 12 more, and I'm gonna have a whole collection of wrap skirts. I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like. Visit the Brother Sew site. Enter your zip code into the dealer locator tool to find an authorized brother dealer near you.